G'day Taurus, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as that now. <laughs> no way I'll put those confettis on top of there. Oh, it's just for the picture. <laughs> They'll fall down. Anyway, hope you all had a good Chrissy or whatever you celebrate. Almost New Year's, hey? So, another year over. All right, so... This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there with the current timeline. Cross watchers, this could be you, but if it's not, this could be somebody else's energy. So keep that in mind. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, views. Every single one of them is so greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as usual, the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. All right, let's go, Taurus. <clears throat> Message for you. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So free yourself of whatever you need to free yourself of. Get yourself back into control of what you're about, of who you are. But stay optimistic about your love life because, yeah, it, just enjoy the holiday time and, you know, stay optimistic and make that effort to stay optimistic because... Great love could be just around the corner, Taurus. You never know. But enjoy that holiday time. Ooh, past life relationship. We've known each other before. Could be someone from a past life just comes along. I feel like you've already known each other. Or it could be someone from the past. Ooh, there's an attraction though. You attract romant romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So stay in the moment. Don't focus on the past or the future. Just stay in the moment. Enjoy your life. All right. Love energy coming towards Taurus. What can you tell us? Three cards, please. Okay, there's two. This confetti was a bad idea. <laughs> and three. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. So they have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So someone's trying to call you in as a soulmate. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. They're trying to free themselves from something too. And religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So something to do with their belief systems when it comes to love. Mm. Bottom of the deck is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Deception. Ooh, someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. And true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So they could have retreated from you before... But they've done some healing here, forgiving and learning for the deception, whatever they held back. And the deception, they could have hid the fact that they saw you as a true love and didn't tell you. Or well, now knowing that you are a true love, they were fooling themselves. But they've released and healed the past now. That's what they retreated to do. Hmm... Alright. Hmm. Okay, message for Taurus is Oh, the magician. Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Two of Swords. So you're trying to manifest in You've got all the all the tools you need to manifest whatever you want. You're trying to manifest in new love, an overflowing cup of love. Could be also self-love. 
wanting to go out and party with friends over this holiday time, but you're undecided about whether that's really what you want to do, whether you're really in the mode to go out and party and... You're undecided about whether that's the right way to find this love, is to go out and party and drinking with friends or... Could be someone that you're trying to manifest in, a love that you're trying to manifest in to reconcile with, but you're undecided about it, if it is that past person. Not really sure. Mm, the chariot, wanting to charge forward triumphantly, wanting to get in your vehicle and get out of there. <laughs> But you're moving forward either way. You're moving forward. So. Because you've freed yourself from something. But you're just not sure that going out and partying is the right way to do it. Alright. Tell me about calling in your soulmate for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. They have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, and the Eight of Swords. Ooh. So they're trying to call you in. They're praying. They're saying affirmations and trying to visualize to bring you two together. They want this to happen really quickly, but they're, it's all they think about day and night. They're stuck in their head about it, how they can get this action to happen. <sighs> they want to charge in, but... They're feeling stuck in their head about it. So all they can do is think about you. The sun. Clarity. Happiness. The happiest card in the deck. All they see is that you will make them happy. But, yeah, they're stressing about charging in. <laughs> so they're just trying to call you in with their mind. <laughs> and their energy. The Star, the High Priestess, the Death Card, and the Four of Cups. Wow. So, yeah, you are their wish, but they're keeping that a secret. They do want this to transform into something, because they don't want to miss the opportunity with you. But if it is someone from the past, they may want to heal this from all the secrets that they kept. And they know that things ended because they missed their opportunity. But they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. They don't. Want, they they definitely want this to transform. They're trying to trust their instincts on the best way to get you their wish fulfillment. But they're stuck in their head about it. <laughs> All right. Tell me about free yourself for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. They have, ooh, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, wow, and the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, that awesome cup being delivered by a dolphin, <laughs> wow, so they're trying to take back control of their lives so they can offer this cup of love and passion, have a brand new love and brand new passion with you, and show you this beautiful love that they have, the best love anyone can give. All queens are loving, she's the queen of love. And look at that cup. It's not even as good as the Ace of Cups. I mean, it's way better than the Ace of Cups. The cup from the Divine, look at that cup. It's like a trophy cup. <laughs> but it's got a lid on it. Hmm. So they're trying to get free out of their head, I think. So that they can have these, these new beginnings with you and show you this beautiful love that they want to show you. Seven of Wands. Yeah, standing up for themselves, defending themselves, praying. Going against all the, all the naysayers in their head. 
freeing themselves of those things, praying that they can stand up and, and defend themselves against all the people that think this isn't going to work. And it's interesting, the next one is the page of wands, but look, he's kneeling as well, but only one, one knee, but... Hmm... So fire energy with the page of wands, ooh, the five of swords, the nine of cups and the king of cups, water energy, king to the queen. So they see you as a counterpart, that's for sure. You are the wish fulfillment, but they um, have learnt how to fill their own cups after possibly being... Had head games, mind games, people s sabotaging them. They might have self-sabotaged. There was deception. Um, page of Wands. Somebody could have just been flirting with them, playing head games. Or they could have been like that in the past, just flirting head games. But now they've learnt to fill their own cups fill themselves up emotionally there's no need for that <clears throat> they've learnt how to control their emotions hmm. freeing themselves to become your counterpart Taurus when it comes to love All right, tell me about religious factors for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Okay. They have the Knight of Cups, water energy again, the Star, and the Three of Swords. So, to do with their belief systems when it comes to love, taking actions of love towards their wish fulfillment brings heartbreak. I think that they, they may believe that if, if they come to you offering this love, as much as they, you are their wish fulfillment or may want to heal things if it is a past person, it's just going to cause heartbreak is what they believe. <laughs> These things are going to be flying everywhere. Uh, five of Wands, yeah, fighting, conflict. They're conflicted about this. They want to offer this love to you. You are their wish, but they're worried they're going to get their heart broken, so they're totally conflicted about what they believe that this love could be. Sorry. The world card, the page of cups, water energy. <laughs> well, we've had the whole family out. Um, the nine of swords and the ace of pentacles. So they want the cycle to close out of these two being apart and come together for a new cycle. Now, if it's an ex, they might want to apologize. Otherwise, they want to send this message of love to you. But all they do is think about it all night long. How are they going to send this message of love to you or apologize? They can't sleep at night thinking about how to offer this stable new beginning to you. If it is a past person, they want to close out the cycle and apologise because they can't sleep at night and they do want to offer a stable new beginning. If this is someone new, they just want the cycle to end of you two being apart and actually come together. Um, so they can offer, start offering that love to you, but they're stressed out about how to do that and how, this, how to make this stable right from the start. But, and yeah, it looks pretty new. Also, with that free yourself, I'm getting that they could have had to, they're getting back control of their life, getting their self love and their own passion back within themselves, filling themselves up with that beautiful love. And they've had to fight for it. 
fight to get themselves. It's been a hard struggle for them to get themselves back in that position again. Get back control of those things. All right, message for Taurus is instinct, destiny, wisdom, and balance. Oh, this is beautiful. So trust your instincts, Taurus. You're destined for something here. It could be this union is destined. Um, but you've got some sort of destiny here. So be wise. Use wisdom. Very, be very wise in what you do and stay balanced. Keep yourself balanced through all this. And don't let other people sway you from being balanced. You use your wisdom. You know what you're destined to do instinctively. You know what you're destined to do here. And the love that you're destined to have. You know. Hmm. All right, love energy coming towards Taurus. What else can you tell us about them? Three cards, please. Okay. They have facade. Ooh, hiding something. It's not real. Creation. Trying to create something. And, ooh, guilt. Ooh, they've got guilt out of something here. Feeling guilty. Hmm. Bottom of the deck for them is all trickery. Uh-oh. Acceptance, confusion, and service. So there's some sort of trickery here. They're not... They're, there's a facade. They're not being true at, with, to themselves, I'm hearing, about something that they need to accept. They haven't accepted something here. Yeah. Because they're confused. Confused about what service to provide. What service are they providing to themselves or to anybody else? They're totally confused about that. And they're just accepting the fact that it's all just trickery and lies. It's not very good, is it? They might have had to accept that something wasn't real. And they're confused as to why. Message for Taurus is ooh, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, and Justice. So I'm getting well, just from that imagery, you're turning your back on juggling. You're you're not interested in anybody who's juggling. You're walking away, getting in your boat and taking off. No, not interested. People have to come correctly. They don't get a chance unless they get past the sword. And then they can get to your heart because you're very confident about what you want. You're confident and will go after what you want. You're sexy, you're beautiful, as both these queens are. But yeah, your passion, you know what you're passionate about and people have to come correctly or you'll cut them out. It has to be balanced. There has to be justice. There's that sword up straight again. Communication has to be clear. Passionate action is great, but there's got to be truth and justice on either side of that. Okay, tell me about facade for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. We have the Page of Swords, Air Energy, and the Three of Pentacles. If you're wondering what that guy was building in the Three of Pentacles, that's what he was building, a statue. 
Okay, so it's a lie. If it's a facade, what they've been told, the information that they've gathered has been a lie about how to work on things with someone else, how to work together with people. The information they've received has been a lie. The star. How to heal. What their wish was. It was all a lie. They were fooling themselves. They thought that something could be healed. They thought that you could work together. They thought that, you know, the information they were gathering was true. And it wasn't. None of it. The tower had all fell down. Their happiness with the sun, the hangman, and the page of wands, fire energy. Yeah. The universe blew it up. Whatever it was they thought this happiness was so that they could see clearly and look at it from a different perspective because now they're stuck. Page of wands. <clears throat> Wishing they could send those passionate messages, but... Messages of action. Yeah, the action, the act, the small actions that they took weren't enough, and that's why they were left stuck when it comes to their happiness, and it all fell apart. Because, yeah, what they didn't do the right actions. The information they had was a lie. The work they were putting in was not just a lie, and the healing. Didn't heal anything. There's the Queen of Cups. That awesome love. Water energy. And look, she's taken the lid off and looked inside and there's a fish. It's a bit fishy. <laughs> yeah. Better get this fish out of there if I'm going to put my love in it. Hmm. So I uh, think even even that awesome love that they thought they felt, that was a lie too. So this could be what they're freeing themselves from, the fact that they tried to have this new beginning with someone and fight for something. But yeah, a love, two of cups. They tried to fight for a love, but it was just a lie. Not saying that was with you. Okay, tell me about creation for this love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Yeah, because I got that's that trickery they dealt with. They accepted someone that was <coughs> tricking them. And that's why they got so confused about putting that energy into that person. They put all that energy into someone and it was just a lie. Well the hangman's back out. So creation, they're trying to create a way to look at this from a different perspective, to possibly learn from this. They created stuckness for themselves. Queen of Wands, fire energy. <sighs> Can be the other woman. That's the first words that came to me, the other woman. Or other man. <coughs> but they created a situation where they were stuck with the wrong person. <coughs> They're trying to create, sorry, uh, a different perspective here to get their confidence back to get out of that. Yeah. And to become single and independent. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords and the Judgment. Yeah, to get themselves single, single, stable abundant on their own, free themselves and drop that burden of being stuck in their head about something that they made the wrong judgment call on. Yeah, they're trying to create a way out, I just heard. Okay. All right. 
Let's see that. Yep. Tell me about guilt. For the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Ooh. Seven of Swords. Cheating, lying, stealing. So they have guilt about that. Perhaps it was them who was doing all the trickery here. Guilt about the deception. They got caught, though. They got caught. That's why they're feeling that guilt. And look, they could be trying to call you back in, because, uh, because, but they're stuck in their head about it because they know. They freed themselves from this beautiful beginning that you were offering them, and they didn't fight for it. They fought against it. And, you know, they believe that offering love and that beautiful wish is coming true just leads to heartbreak, and that's why they're conflicted. It's just a facade, that the information that they've been given here about working together with other people and healing things, that star, it's a lie. They've created this upside-down way of thinking because of their ego, possibly, and now they feel guilt for that cheating, lying, stealing, and the Emperor for being so stubborn and set in their ways. For being so controlling. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups, Temperance, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Wow. Yeah. They have that guilt about the past. <laughs> that they made you wait patiently for so long that you ended up pouring your love out and letting the relationship fly away. Not blending together anymore. They're being poured back in because it's not you go that way and you go that way. The sun is setting on this. All because of all the fighting and the head games. Manipulation, mind games, cheating, lying, stealing, being in control. That's like the Seven of Swords and the Emperor is the like the Five of Swords. It's controlling someone, sabotaging someone, head games, mind games, manipulation, cheating, lying, stealing, and totally being in control of all that. That's, yeah, and causing fights, making you wait for nothing just to pour your love back into the river. In the past. They know. They feel guilt about all of that. <sighs> wow. Message for Taurus is... Date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date, girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun, self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, and abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. This is all advice for you, girl, girl or boy, da, Taurus, meet someone new, get back out there. Spend time with friends. Enjoy being single and live in the moment. Have some fun. Do some, you know, build back up your self-worth. Worth. Do your shadow work. Take some time to heal. Appreciate yourself. And keep a positive mindset. Then manifest exactly what you want. Be abundant. And be grateful for it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you're abundant, you've got to do this self-work, appreciate yourself, have time with friends, be happily single and get back out there and meet someone new, Taurus. Yeah, that's come out again, girl talk, time with friends, moving on, move on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So live in the moment and have fun. All right. Love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Let's 
Can you tell us? Thank you. Alright, they have clock, need time, takes time, in time cycles, time to heal, progress. Yeah. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. And hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic options, not showing hand, gambling. So... It could be that they're taking some time to heal, but I'm not really seeing that here. They have guilt. And their belief systems when it comes to love isn't the greatest. Um, yeah, they're going to take their time, but I think they're going to have a bit of a surprise epiphany here. Um, that'll make them take a chance to reach out. But I don't see them, I mean, we do have the star, like they do need to heal heartbreak. And they do need to heal the lies that they've dealt with. But if they're still coming in with that trickery and, and it's all because of guilt, I don't think they're showing their hand here. I don't think they're showing their hand. If they do take a chance, it's um, strategic and they're not showing their hand. They might be in for a bit of a shock that you're not interested anymore because um, time's gone by. Healing heart, healing, oh, okay, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you, soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract, and the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. Okay, so maybe they are doing that healing. They've been dealt, dealt with a karmic relationship, which has caused them to believe that love leads to heartbreak. Um, they could see, they, they're calling you in as a soulmate, but yeah. They thought someone was a soulmate, but it was a karmic, and now that relationship's over, there's no second chances. They need to heal from that karmic and have that relationship totally over before they come into you. Which I think they need more time to sit in this energy. And I'm getting that they created a situation where they hung around with someone who was not interested in commitment. What would you like to say, Taurus? I'm afraid of these feelings. I need time to heal. I only want to be with you, and I have always loved you. So are you a bit overwhelmed with the feelings you have for this person? Are you afraid of the feelings that you might have for this person? You need time to heal. I think you know they need time to heal because you're looking pretty good. You might need time to heal though because you're single and out with your friends trying to have fun and live in the moment. So it's part of your healing process. Um, you only want to be... I think I've got you only want to be with someone who only wants to be with you. But you might have always loved this person. This person could be the one that you've always loved. And you do only want to be with them, but... Hmm, you're still doing a bit of self-work at the moment and you're afraid of the feelings you have for this person, so... But they're not ready for you either. Not in this... Not coming in like this. No, 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 no. You don't want them coming in like this. Ooh, I'm sorry I lied to you. Okay, I can't right now, and I want you back, so, yeah, I think, and I've always loved you again, it's come out, yeah, I think you need to spend a bit more time on yourself, 
before you look at this person because they've still got they've got a bit of catching up to do they're not where you are this they're, they're still feeling the guilt for their controlling and cheating ways um what that you know the information they've been given is just lies and what they believe is love is just going to end in heartbreak so they need um a bit more time yeah which we've got need time to heal yeah all right love energy coming towards taurus what would you like to say to taurus at least three cards please Got on the floor. Landed in my boxes. And I've got on the floor. Oh, oh there it is. Right on top. Excellent. Didn't have to lean down. Okay. Oop. Knock my sign over. Hang on. Was that one? That one? Yeah. Okay. And that one was last. All right. So they have, I have always loved you. So you've always loved each other. I'm sorry I lied to you. So, you know, this is that guilt that they're feeling here. I still love you. <laughs> I regret what I did to you. Well, that's good. They're feeling that regret and guilt here. And what's the last one? I'm keeping you a secret. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, they're feeling guilt and shame, um, apologetic, regret. But they're keeping it all a secret because of this regret they feel. they st And the fact that they love you and always have loved you. But their belief systems when it came to love caused them to do all these horrible things to you. And that's why they've got to keep it a secret. I don't think they're keeping, they're keeping the fact that they still love you a secret and all this regret and guilt a secret from you and from everyone. There was someone else, see? Cheating, lying, stealing. I regret letting you go. Can we at least be friends and please contact me? They want you to reach out to them. They want to at least be friends. They have regret here again for letting you go. There was someone else. Well. Yeah, they've got regret that there was someone else and that they let you go for someone else. They want to at least be friends and want you to contact them, but no. It's not your um, job to heal their guilt. So you just keep doing your healing and doing what you're doing, enjoying yourself. Keep doing that, Taurus. And, yeah, they need to sit in this a bit longer and heal themselves. Because I think we saw the page of cups out before, the like the apology, but it's not on the table. So yeah, mm. got a no, knight of swords, knight of cups, but then to coming into oh, for love to heal us, but then heartbreak again. So no. Nah. All right, well, that's your reading, Taurus. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will do another reading in a few days or so, but, you know, by the time I get all these readings out, and it will be, it will be New Year's. <laughs> so the next one will be after New Year's, but right after, okay? All right, well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.